We're here having a Gospel Reformation Network conversation with uh, Rick Phillips, the pastor of Second Pres in Greenville. And uh, I wanted to talk to you, Rick, about the pastor's personal piety. And tell me, what effect does that have upon his congregation? Well, I think there's two main ways. And it, the first is just how important it is to the, the pastor as a Christian man. Because you're, you're engaging in spiritual labor, but that cannot become the substance or the purpose of your spiritual life. And so I think it's vitally important that we ministers would actively pursue Christ. You know, I would, I would say one of the biggest things happening in my life in recent years is a greater awakening to my present relationship with Christ as a living Lord. Christ did not leave the scene when he ascended into heaven. He is ascended on the throne. I am his servant. And the offering of my life, as Paul says in Romans 12, as a, as a thank offering to him. And so I, one of my mottos is the only true reward in this life of serving the Lord Jesus Christ, or at least the, the one we ought to be aiming for, is the joy of serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And so the very word of God that I serve to others, I need to be feeding from, and I do feed from it and I, as I do my work. One of the real blessings of being a minister is that you, uh, you what you're doing is edifying Amen. to you. I, sometimes yes. when I'm preaching, I want to say, I don't know if you're getting anything out of this, but I'm getting a lot. <laughs> yes. And yet we must pursue him. We must cherish those private times uh, just last night, I, pretty late at night, I went on my little veranda and opened up the Gospel of Matthew and gazed upon my Lord Jesus. And when we're doing the work of the church, it's so important that we do so as children, as sons, as, uh, as disciples who are living out their redemption and then the practice of godliness. There's no, there is no substitute. I have to play by the rules. I have to be in the Word of God. I need to drink from the living waters. I need to commune with God in prayer. I need to practice practical godliness. I can't mess around with my life. I have to fence off temptations and sins so that I will lead a godly life. And uh, those things are only more important for the minister. And we need to more aggressively embrace a disciplined lifestyle of personal piety. Yes. And as you say, the pastor is in many ways even more threatened by a lot of these temptations and a lot of these struggles as he's serving on the front lines of gospel ministry and a pastor needs to tend the garden of his own heart and, and one of the things uh, uh, gospel ministry is terribly isolated you play a role to a lot of people and they need you to be in that role and so it's easy to have nowhere where you're just being yourself which is why our marriages are so important yes. and our relationships with our children and our close friends. And Satan knows how to make hay of those things. And so we need, what did Paul say to Timothy? Watch your life and doctrine closely. We really need to do that. Yes. Thank you, Rick. Thank you for joining us for this Gospel Reformation Network conversation.